Tenderness, where is it? Tenderness, tenderness, where is it? I held your hand. Yeah, well, I told you 10 level lips. 10 level lips? That's right. Then I gotta get the angle grinder. And I told you 10 level lips. 10 level lips. That's right. I think, yeah, that, that, that DeWalt would be nice. We'll probably use that. <clears throat> All right, people. Now, as you know, when I got this, it was more of a buy, show you guys. We're getting a lot of questions about the tea stack and, yeah, you know, the craftsman, or whatever the heck they call the craftsman version of this. Uh, you know, what's the difference? Are they different or are they the same? So we got it. And if you followed me, you know, you know what? I had a great plan for this. All right. I'm like, man. You know, last year was a mess. I was supposed to do a lot of storage in my new trailer. Um, never really got to a lot on building my trailer out. Um, obviously, I put the trimmer racks up, put a blower rack up, um, put some nice storm uh, protectant down on the floor. But besides that, it was just too busy um, to really build it out. Um, but stuff flying all over the trailer. I'm like, God, oh, this tea stack. You know, I kind of like it because it's not very big. It's kind of small. And I thought it would be perfect. The issue is it's a little too small. Um, but I haven't used the bottom part is the only part that I kind of tested it out with this week. Um as you can see, I need to take the, and if you have followed me, I knew this around a week ago and around a week ago, if you again, have been following me, you saw that I bought that DeWalt, um, the, the, uh, DeWalt tough system racking system. Um, you know, I thought maybe I could do it with this one, but it's just really not big enough for the stuff that I got to kind of put in here so but i do want to tell you if you do have a small business what you can kind of get in here and i i really think i'm still going to use this top uh box and this middle box i really love this middle box this middle box is absolutely awesome um now obviously the, the tough system kind of offers a you know a drawered unit also but you know that thing's like 90 bucks but you know we'll have to see how it goes you know the tote is what i'm really looking forward to because then i can throw all my stuff in there there's no obviously it's a tote there's no lid on it um but i was thinking about doing it with the racking system for a long time then i'm like i don't know if i want to invest in that because i really am missing my open trailer and if you have followed my other channel you'd know that um but again, I like this because of the size. Uh, I mean, I got a lot of crap in there, a lot of stuff. Um, but definitely an option. So I kind of want to show you how I got this kind of set up here. Um, yeah, let's start with the top box and we'll kind of work our way down here. And then what I'm going to do is I might bring you to the trailer. And um, I got to get my bag, my Milwaukee tool bag out of there. This is long. It's good. And I really like it. And it, it could work. I could make it work if I wanted to. But then I would really start taking up a lot of space. And um, don't really want to do that. So, all right. So this is the top lid here. Just got to make sure. I set up, I don't know, two weeks ago, just trying to clean up 
my truck and my trailer. Let me see. Oh, boy. All right, so as you can see here, perfect little area. What's up, Brad's Workbench? I'm going to show you kind of what I got in here. Um, all right, so these are my billing. This is how I build people. I use these actually a lot. I tried going. Um, I use yard books, and it works tremendously. But a lot of people, believe it or not, a lot of my customers still want receipts. They still want receipts. Uh, my two commercial accounts, they want receipts. Um, and a lot of people, honestly, just don't check their computer. So they don't want to check their computer. Let me get these out of here. But the reason I'm not showing because I got all my, my, my name and my phone numbers on there. But as you can see, um, really nice little compartment here. Um, now I don't have to keep this in my truck because I have a little... I have a little, um, like, I don't know what you would call it. It's a little board that opens up, kind of like a little little briefcase type of a thing where I keep this. It's a plastic, and, it, you know, I do my um, my quotes on it. Well, there's a little spot for your pen. little, like, clipboard, but it kind of opens up. Um, obviously, light, need light. I have actually just put this in. My old one crapped out on me. It wasn't a Milwaukee. It was a cheap one. Uh, this they just sent to me. Um, I had one, but that one busted a long time ago. I'm actually going to be doing a video on this. They contacted me a couple weeks ago and they said, man, you want to give them? I'm like, oh yeah, man, because I actually need another one of these. Uh, because believe it or not, when you have mowers, uh, especially when you have employees, sometimes they leave that freaking key, um, not in the right spot there. Let's just say it's happened in the past. Uh, well, my new mowers, you really can't do that anymore, thank God. But, you know, and also, and when it gets a little chilly, like this time of year, you'll see you, sometimes you got issues with your battery. But this will test everything out. Very important with the mowers. I'm not really worried about my truck right now. Um, when we got extra time, let me see. I held and so when i got extra time usually i don't do it i usually have one do it but you know we got door hangers here um kind of gets a little slow during the day or it's starting to rain once i got one working unfortunately i got to pay him for the whole day so usually i'll just send him out hanging up these little little doorknobbers here you click them on the door, you tell them what you do, special price. But again, this is all stuff that I don't have to keep in my truck anymore, which I'm going to be happy about. And here's another stack of them. Believe me, you go through these like gravy. And Vistaprint, the way to do it. Um, I got Gorilla Glue in here because of a couple of fences and decks I had to do last year. Believe it or not, just a couple little pieces and I had to use, you saw with my DeWalt nail gun. And I got a tape measure in here. And this guy's the best. Check him out. He's the bomb. All right. So that is a night, you know, again, a small box that I can connect. You know, actually the clipboard that I use, I mean, it's almost about this size. So again, awesome that I don't have to have something like this in my truck anymore. Like I said, I'm probably going to keep this and the drawer unit. I'm going to make a little shelf for it. So I can just say one. Take the take the flyers out of the out of the trailer, you know, get the bills, write a bill up, and let's get the heck out of here. So now I don't have to have him digging in my truck. I can always kind of keep him in the trailer. Not that he's not a good guy, he's a good guy, but sometimes he's very filthy and dirty. So he'll just go in there and, and make it. We've had a lot of instances of that. All right, so this is my favorite of the boxes here. All right. Now, again, you can like you're a plumber, carpenter, electrician, you know, obviously you can use this box. It comes with those little uh, containers. You know, you could put all your accessories, you know, your different screws and, and bits and all that, you know, it, exactly. Hey, what's up, buddy? Brad. But, um, you know, 
the like same thing if you're a carpenter or whatever your trade is but um you know obviously you you don't really do too much of the you you probably have billing papers uh billing slips and stuff but you probably don't have the you know door door knobbers here uh the uh the flyers or whatever all right so this is my favorite part of the t stack now again i'm going to be moving over to the tough system uh because this system is just not big enough um but this like i said is one and this unit i'm going to keep the big one yeah it's just not worth it all right so in here it's cool so as you can see right off the bat got a nice spot here to keep my batteries i should clamp this so i don't have any issues i held her hand tenderness all right what's going on people alejandra what's up brother all right so as you know i love the walkie string trimmer i mean i got the um fs90 i got the fs56 uh, and i got the fs70 i still carry the fs70 uh but i'm telling you if i'm trimming I'm using that Milwaukee every time. And I didn't let Juan use it a lot because I just don't trust him with it. But as we got the season going more on, when he was working, the days he would work with me, um, I would make him use the steel. But towards the end, I let him use the Milwaukee. So like I said, I got another Milwaukee that just came in today. I got the Milwaukee sent me the whole, the pole saw, the edger. So I'll have both of them working. So I'm very excited about that. But I use the Milwaukee stuff. Actually, we use the blower also. Um, and I'll show you why in, in a second. But, um, you know, again, just doing grass clippings right now. We're using backpack blowers. So, you know, we're not even really using the string trimmers yet. Like I said, this is the only box I've really, that's been in my trailer has been this one right here. But, yeah, so you got, I got my battery set up here. Awesome. Fully charged, ready to rock, um, which is awesome. Um, oh, man. How am I going to do this? Oh, I guess I can. But, yeah, it can keep four 9-amp hour. I mean, if you want to take the little, you know, containers out, I mean, you can fit a lot of batteries in here. But I got four 9s in here, and, again, I'll have one hooked up to the uh, string trimmer and probably one up to the blower. Um, I like the fives with the uh, string trimmer because the runtime is so awesome. You know, like I said, you get an hour with one of these nines, um, but with a, with a five, you know, you get like 30 minutes. And again, I can get through three, four jobs with a five amp hour battery, keep the weight nice and, and light, which I like, you know, one, He'll use the nines and sometimes the 12, which I am very worried about because I think I lost the 12, but we will find it or something is not going to be good. Mr. Someone will be in some trouble there. All right. So you can put your batteries in here. Like I said, if you want to put fives, nines, twelves, whatever, obviously the smaller the battery, the better you are. Um, and like I said, now, again, this is more of the you know, ordinary lawn care, uh, billing, advertisement, marketing uh, stuff. Um, and here, I got my business cards. All right, again, it was something I would keep in my truck and my clipboard little box there. I don't have to do that anymore. Someone wants, you know, you'll be you'll be working and some truck or car will pull up. Hey. Um, you got time to take a look at my, I, I, I'm done. I, I'm, I'm not doing it anymore. You, you got a business card, you know, now I don't, I got the trailer open already. I can just go grab a business card or I can have Juan grab one, you know, whatever. Um, now I do have, I did have some in here, but I did put them in my glove compartment because sometimes, you know, I take the trailer off. Um, nails again, sometimes I got to fix, uh, you know, decks and, and fences and stuff like that. Oh, you can take a look at my, you know, I got a lot of old people 
Um, and they asked me to do a lot of handyman work over the time. I'm going to fill this up too with some more of these blades, but I'll kind of show you. That's in my bag, in my trailer. But again, I got plenty of room in here to, you know, put some more stuff, which I'm going to add from my DeWalt uh, Tough System box that I have that was on my open trailer. And again, all the other accessories that are in there. And in here, I got a couple bits that I always use with my mower when I'm removing stuff. So I just put them in a bag here. But these are the bits are the nut setters, nut drivers that I, I always use. And of course the Makita adapters in there. But again, I got my other stuff in my bag. But yeah, so that's, you know, really cool, man. Real Again, what this is about is being compact. Um, you know, I want to get all my marketing, all my billing, all my flyers in one box. I think I'll be able to do that. Um, I kind of, like I said, don't really have it set up right. So, you know, like I said, one will know, you know, the yellow, the yellow box, the, the one with the, the drawer, the, the, with, the, with the yellow handle. Yeah, that's where it's at. So he can kind of know what's going on with that. Um, I got that 12 amp hour the wall I got to get to. But this is what I've been using for the last two weeks. Eh, not even two weeks, kind of like the last 10 days. Um, and I kind of been working out of this in my tool bag. Um, you know, this is when I kind of decided just really not enough room for for the stuff I have. Um, yeah, let's see what we got in here because I don't even know. So, work gloves and a hat. It's been kind of freezing lately. Uh, actually, Juan was using these. I used my Milwaukee. He's got a pair too. And again, this is where a lot of the stuff, this is where that tote is going to come in big. Um... You know, I was going to build a little shelf and all that stuff, but again, I don't know what I'm doing with this trailer. I might want to go back to an open trailer. So, these are all the fluids and, and you know, st stabilizer and, you know, stuff like that. STP, again, needed for the mowers and stuff. Um, this is all the oil we've been through and just, you know, it's insane with these backpack blowers. That's why, um, oh man, I got nowhere to even put this stuff. That's why, guys, um, you know, I really like the lithium ion during the summer. Now, again, in the fall, in the spring, you can't really get away with this lithium ion stuff here, unfortunately. What's up? No, this is for a enclosed trailer, but G Stone 321, if you look at my other channel, I ran with a XL DeWalt Tough System box on the front of my, you know, and where where my where my V nose is, right by the hitch. I had it bolted down. I made a little platform for it, and I had it there for four years. That's where I kept a lot of stuff, um, you know, and it's a huge, you know, the XL. It's a big box. I pretty much, you know, again, I had all this stuff in my truck but never got one ounce of water in it uh, i i you know that's why you always hear me say no doubt at full price go with the tough system over the milwaukee because you know to pay more than double the price you know i think this is what 139 for the tough system and it's 279 for the milwaukee no you don't need that the, this tough system is is an awesome system not one ounce of water ever got in never had one thing with the clamps messing up on me i even jackknifed into it it cracked a little bit but i kind of fixed it but good stuff here but again a lot of oil uh this is just empty cartons here now this is the best stuff i recommend for all the people who use outdoor power equipment um that's for my, you know, you always got to have oils. You know, this is for the mower. My one mower kind of burns up oil a little bit more. And you get ripped off so bad when you need it. 
that's why like on amazon i'll just buy like you know 34 to go big case of this stuff i did with the stens this stuff is this stuff's good too and it's really cheap i have they have it on amazon where you can get like i don't know man like a 50 count box um which for you guys you'd have for a long time but the lawn care people you know forget it i still got some in here but yeah so a lot of oils here of course just dumping it here's my bar chain oil like i tell you i kind of mix it i i put I, I put motor oil old motor oil from my truck from what's up hunter green i just got your message too um you know from my my cars my truck my uh, lawn mowers i got so much oil one day i'll show you where i store it i store it in seal coat uh containers you know the big uh five gallon buckets there i got like six of them oh uh, yeah probably around six eh, maybe five five or six of them full of just used motor oil and i kind of mix it with this because this stuff is expensive as crap um and you and again this is something you just go through like crazy uh when you're using chainsaws so i just use the train there i got some uh, stuff here you know you always gonna plant something in there here's my little rusted old trash roll there i got other i got like weed whacker i got some uh bolts some some bolts i got some extensions in here some nut, some longer nut drivers i got in here um you know some string um little kit here i got pliers some wrenches some other good stuff you know uh, needle nose um screwdrivers little stanley set that i've had you know cheap beat the hell out of it no big deal uh and this i think i'm gonna get rid of uh, this was the impact i would have in the trailer with me um you know people ask me oh man you got, any, you got the little makita you know, like I said, guys, this thing has like 130 foot-pounds. Um, you know, I'm not really doing too much with that. You know, my my blades on my zero turn get changed and they get torqued at like 70 foot-pounds. Uh, the blades on my push mowers, my walk behind, um, well, my Toro. I wouldn't call it, you know, walk behind. My Toro Time Master, you know, 50, 60 foot pounds max um when i got problems with my trailer tires where i've gotten flats last year um you know you got to remove you know the tires on your trailer because you will get flats um uh, make sure you have a spare because it can be a terrible situation and i don't have one on my new enclosed which i i better better do because i do not want to in that predicament trust me um but yeah so it was small again it was in my a tool bag um but this thing was great but i don't want to carry just the makita you know what i'm saying because now i got to bring a makita charger a makita battery so i want to keep everything you know probably milwaukee um but yeah you know fit, you can fit a lot of stuff in here um I'll just dump all this stuff out. I didn't really, um, I don't know why. I should just get a bag. But, so yeah, so you could fit a lot of stuff in here, you know. Um, you know, you could put your batteries in here. Um, if you're not, you don't need a lot of this stuff. Um, you know, like I said, electricians, plumbers, you know, you can get a lot of, you know, a lot of stuff in here. Um, that you know i don't you don't need oils and all that you could replace it with stuff that you use and stuff so you know i could do it but i really can't do it because i got you know a lot of we go through a lot of uh trimmer line i kind of want to put that somewhere i still got to put my power tools in here um you know i kind of want to have a spot you know i can fit that one uh saw um, I love that 18 volt brushless Milwaukee, you know, hacksaw. I want to have that. Um, but yeah, actually, let's go to the trailer now. 
Uh, and I'll kind of show you. We need this. Well, we got a kind of a mess here. All right, so let's um, let, let's bring it outside. Oh, I might need a light. Cancel. Hold on to. All right, so we got our little thing here. Now again, I'm gonna be going tough system. Uh, the totes, I'm really excited for. Uh, the tote, I think, is gonna be great. You guys know, I did a video. I had really crew blast in there on the uh, Dewalt. I got my keys on the uh, good old Dewalt. Uh, tough system in the terrain and racking system. So, let's take a look in here. My battery might be dying. But yeah, and, and you know, they do offer a tote with that T-Stack system too. Um, the thing is, and it's really the biggest reason why I'm not going with it, um, is because of, I want to have something on the wall. I don't want to take up a lot of space. Um, that's my key, yeah. I don't want to take up a lot of... Oh, I got a light in here. That's right. Let's see it. Oh. My, this freaking thing. Oh, this is a piece of crap. You got to be kidding me. I'll tell you, the winters kill everything. Hold on. I'll tell you what, a Chinese piece of crap. Didn't even get freaking a year out of it. And this thing's going to end up dying on me. All right, I'm sorry about that, guys. All right, so as you can see, um, it's a real mess in here. Now, I'm going to do something with this, with a video for you guys. And it's just going to be part of the video, but it's a mess in here. Again, more oil in there. Um, here's the trimmer line. I just bought this one online. So, you know, I could actually put this right there. That's where it's going to go. But, um, again, if I have it here, it's rolling all over the place. So I kind of want to have some, uh, yeah, see, like this stuff I got. That's just parts to my mower. I take off the, um, the belt guards there. I gotta get this DeWalt mower out of here. There's my oh my mower, my gas cans. Shoot. Actually, I took a lot out of here. I thought I had my impact wrench in here, but yeah. So I'm, I'm gonna ace the 12 volt. I think. I don't know. I might not actually. I might just put the new Gen 2 stuff in there. There are my sockets. I got another glove on the floor. It's a freaking mess in here. My deep well. Let me see if I can kind of set this up. Now, I had my DeWalt stuff in here, but I had to use it. There's my charger. Now, you're going to see the first aid kit I put up. You're going to see the um, a little shelf here with the tough system. Uh, not with the tough system. Well, yeah, I think the tough system might go on this side. But... I need power. I want power in here. Now you guys know I have the DeWalt power station. Um, I use that to really charge all my batteries. What I do is I run an extension cord out of here. And um, I, like I said, it rarely leaves my trailer. What I'll do is I just run an extension cord right to my customer's power. They don't mind. Uh, he's like, yeah, you know, I got to charge a battery. Yeah, go ahead. I don't care. So we got a 50 foot extension cord. Um, and I don't, I, I know the one customer to do it at, you know, you got like one every day. Uh, you, some, you, know, you really can't do it. It's just too far. But, and believe me, you really have to do it because let me, let me tell you, with, uh, you know, uh, four or five amp hour batteries, you know, you could charge a lot of batteries um, with that before you have to charge them. And sometimes I'll just take the batteries out and replace them. But, yeah, so, oh my phone is about to die and this is I, I cannot believe that light doesn't work let me see if I can set this up so yeah my sockets I just want to get rid of this bag so I got my sockets I got gloves again I got to buy a lot of oils so I'll have a lot of oil in in the box um, 
I'm gonna try to do this like this. There's some gloves. I got a drill here. This is the cobalt. Um, there's the Milwaukee hammer drill. I'm gonna probably get rid of the cobalt. These are my old, you know, you'll see, TB. Uh, this impact, you guys know, the impact is not bad. The brushed impact is not bad. It's, this is the problem. This is just, it's so out of its era now, um, unfortunately. Can you see it? Um, I can't believe there's no light. But, yeah, it's, you know, I, I can't even drill holes into decks with this uh, sometimes. Um just not it just doesn't have enough power um yeah i got a couple tap screws in here that i had to do something i had to um this guy's uh shed was always moving in the wind um he would get guts gusts of wind and i had to keep keep it he's like you know got any ideas to keep it in the place i'm like yeah I'll put a couple tap screws thing won't move um so yeah you know i had to bring out the big boy here at one at one job I guess this one could have did it. I didn't even try. Once this one didn't do it, I went right to the cobalt. Um, yeah, so I got some screws in there. I got more sockets. I got my um, Makita sockets, you can see there. I got a lot of grass and stuff in here. Um, I got tapes. Um, you know, I don't really have in here now. Like I said, I did clean a lot of it out. Here's another thing of 3 8 sockets. I probably don't need all of them. Um, I'm not a tape measurer, um, but yeah, so again, it would be, you know, the big thing that takes up a lot is, you know, string trimmer, uh, oil, um, you know, I want to put that, uh, saw in there and I just won't be able to do it. And, you know, the biggest thing, like I said, is you don't have a racking system, you know, so I would kind of have to build a shelf and I got to put another backpack blower here. Um, and I got to actually do that this weekend because again, this stuff is just bouncing all over here. If you see that color, that's, uh, I put the, the storm on that and that was last year. The stuff's awesome. Uh, you know, when it rains, um, you know, when you want to dust and broom this out, having that nice coat of filler on there makes nothing stick. So you can blow this out like it's nothing, you know, this protects it when, uh, it rains you know you always have your ramp down and it starts pouring you know this is like a it's like a water sealant which is good um yeah that's it so you know i put this one up towards the end of last year this is and what a piece of crap a lot of my stuff don't even fit in here i have like this shovel that i it's in the back of my truck right now i, I can't even get it to work in there uh you, you got to have a real thin handle for this stupid thing to work you can just buy these, you can buy just these and they'll screw right into the wall and you, they come in so many different sizes. Um, but yeah, here's the Milwaukee. Again, we haven't really used these yet. We're not doing too many. I don't think we'll be using them for another month, the way the weather's been. But yeah, there's the Milwaukee. Here's the uh, FS70, which is um, definitely had uh, its work. It's been beat up. It's around two years old now, but one, you know, he don't own it, so he treats it like crap. That's why I'm using this one, and this one's awesome, man. Again, what an awesome trimmer. This thing fell out of my open trailer one time on a freaking, on a pretty busy, I was going like 40 miles an hour. The whole rack came down. Juan didn't clip this, did clip this in the right way. And the whole thing, I guess it, it's busted. And I, I did a video on it on my other channel. You know, there's a couple big gashes in it. But let me tell you, man, two years of using this thing like a beast, it still works like a champ. But, yeah, so here's the Bobcat. This has got to be getting out of here. I got to bring this back. Uh, the Hustler will be in here. And I'm going to be getting a new mower suit, too. But I'll let you guys, I don't know what I'm getting yet. I should bring this in with me. And yeah, I'll put it right there. It's supposed to be pretty nice tomorrow, but I got baseball all day. But yeah, so, you know, getting the, getting the, and then there's my wearer sticker. 
Actually, I got a couple of these they sent me. I, more than a couple. I got. I, I don't know what the hell to do with them. If anybody wants one, um, let me know. Show us the light. <laughs> yeah, the only problem with the light is I got to have my truck running for this to work. This thing worked great, man, for a while. Actually, I want to bring this in. It has a cool little mounting. This thing is the best. All you do is tap the end of it. But, I don't know. Maybe it's too cold. I gotta work on that. Eh, yeah, I'm not doing it now. But, yeah, slides right in there. Oh. But, yeah. Uh, you got my DeWalt sticker over there, too. But, yeah, so, you know, I got... The, my, my Time Master will be in here. Or my uh, Toro 21-inch. I use this at the end of the year if you guys follow me on my other channel. Both my mowers went down. I gotta go pick them up at Dan's Small Engine. Um, but so I used the Time Master a lot last year, um, and it really aggravated me because it's not a real comfortable mower to use. So uh, I used that most of the year. But I had a, I did a video for you guys with this towards the end there, and let me tell you, this this is a great mower, man. Great, great mower. You know, a lot of people complain with the runtime, you know, because it comes with two fives, and I think with two fives it gets like twenty minutes. Right, 20 minutes with two fives, but you know, there's sixes, there's nines, there's twelves. But this is the 40 volt version, so it only takes one battery. Uh, but I got like three or four batteries of these 40 volt batteries, so you know, it cuts like a champ. It's it's light, it's it's awesome. I love it, but yeah, so um, yeah, that's about it. So the, the T Stack is a great system. Um, this will be totally customized you know probably in the next month it's my next project um like i said i'm probably gonna put the dewalt racking system right here so everything will be here i'm gonna probably put those two maybe over here i'm gonna probably set it up with the power station i want to build a little shelf for the power station and then maybe i'll put that t-stack those at least the drawer definitely that drawer one i'm gonna try to put on a little shelf over here but then I'll kind of have all my stuff, you know, on the wall here. You know, here I got to put a, a pole saw. I got to put my hedge trimmers up. My hedge trimmers probably go over here, right in that corner. Um, I'm going to be getting, hopefully, a gas can. Again, I don't want nothing on the floor. Either I'm going to build a gas can holder or I'm going to get one. This company might send me one. I don't know. We'll see. Brushless, cordless. Let me go back into the garage and I can read some stuff I can't see. Um, and plus this thing is going to die here, my light. And then again, one of the best, lights. you know, like I said, you always, you heard me talk about the new Milwaukee, light. not the new Milwaukee light, the, the, you know, the, the search light that's 79 bucks and I love it. And it is, you know, probably my favorite, you know, movable, portable light. You know, I, you always hear me say, I love the, um, just the right key. I like the um, the M12 rocket light, right? This ain't the right key. I can't see so good. I can't see. I can't see. My eyes are closed. I don't think this is not the right way. How the hell is there a light in there? Um, oh, this, this is going to die here. That's locked up. All right, let me, um, I got to hook my phone up. I'm at like 2%. But yeah, and I got a lot of other little crap. Like for my seal coating, I got brushes. Oh, boy. All right, so, um, and again, motor oil too, but uh, what was I? Gas or electric mower? Yeah, no, nah, I mean for for you DIY people. Let me let me hook up. You know, I, I said it around two weeks ago, guys. If you watch my Home Depot video, I think it's I think for the DIY guy, there is no real reason. <laughs> To have a gas lawnmower anymore 
no reason at all. Uh, you know, when they first kind of came out like five years ago, they were kind of shady a little bit. You know, then the Ego kind of came out with one that was pretty good. Now, they're probably on their third, fourth, fifth generation mower, or at least third. Um, and let me tell you, they sent over that self-propelled thing's awesome. These DeWalt, DeWalt mowers are awesome. Um, obviously, we're waiting for the Milwaukee mower at some point. Uh, Makita's mower is crap. They got like a 16-inch mower. Again, completely not made for the North American market, obviously. Uh, the new Ryobi mowers are pretty darn good from what I hear. Um, so, I mean, you know, Greenworks makes them. You know, now they're getting into the commercial grade. You know, they know that's where a lot of money is. I mean, all the towns have a, you know, uh, landscaping department. You know, every town, they got to, you know, mow the lawns and, you know, all the cities and municipalities. Then there's over, you know, close to, what, 100,000 lawn care companies in the United States. And, you know, so they know there's a big market for commercial-grade stuff. So you're going to see that. But, yeah, for the DIY people, man, going electric soon as the Milwaukee mower comes out. Yep, 94 GT, he was a gas guy. Now, he might have gas, but that's probably from some of the burritos he ate like I had this morning. But, you know, he, he's really into the combustion engine, as I've known him over the past three or four years. And, you know, as I've seen on this channel, I'll never go to gas. I mean, I'll never go to battery powered. And, you know, just like 94 GT, he's got the Milwaukee blower now. He's got the Milwaukee string trimmer. And I think he's liking it. I think he's really enjoying himself. Uh, again, you know, like this is the big, you know, thing. You know, not only the noise, the smell, you know, the stopping to fill your, you know, gas cans up. Now, obviously, we I still have to do that a lot because of the lawnmowers and stuff. But, you know, you don't have to go as often. And, you know, I don't have to buy two-cycle oil like it's going out of style. You know, stabilizers and all that other good stuff. You know, I mean... Um, you use them when you can, obviously, you know, like I said, obviously this time of year, uh, we got the backpacks, we got the Red Max 8500, the Mariama 90, what the hell is that one, the Mariama, BL900, that's it, um, BL9000, big time, you know, over one, the Mariama has over a thousand CFM, um, just you know to move leaves and get it done but you know when we start mowing i mean we're just blowing grass off the driveway off the sidewalk and you know they're good in mulch beds you know you can kind of just put it on low with the milwaukee and you know get the grass out of the mulch without blowing the mulch out of the thing but you know obviously you got to have a lot of batteries um but if you have the batteries, you know, you kind of gain them. At, you know, you buy the trimmer, you get a nine. Then you buy the blower, you get a nine. Then you buy the hedge trimmer, you get a nine. Before you know it, you know, you got three or four batteries and, you know, your day, you're good. Like I said, yeah, I, you know, you go through three or four of these a day, you're good to go. Put it on the uh, sequential charger. Like I said, I usually have three, three nines and three fives I use. Um but I have, this is just out now, so that's what I've been using. But, and this has really just been with the Milwaukee blower. Um, but like I said, with, when I'm in like mulch beds, I, we, I, I, I'm using the Milwaukee blower right now. So obviously you need the backpack blowers. But when, when I just did one yesterday where I, this woman had mulch beds out the gazoo. And I used that Milwaukee, man. And I loved it. And I, like I said, you know, you heard me today. If you watched the video, I had the ego with me too. Um, because I just wanted to get done. And, you know, when you don't, when I, this is my steel I just pulled out of my um, trailer. But, you know, I'm using so much, uh, two, you know, two cycle oil and, you know, starting this thing after a year, I just don't want to do it. You know, it'll start fairly quickly, but, you know, and I got one running wild. Just grab it, put the battery in, and you're good to go, man. Um, so, and to be honest with you, you know, there's really not too much, you know, this is like 420, I think 415 CFM. I might as well show you. Um, and these are cheap. 
Um, I got this like two years ago. Um, this is like a hundred and twenty dollar steel. I recommend it. If you're looking for a gas uh, blower, uh, I want to say this is like a hundred and twenty nine dollars. Uh, you got to get it at you know professional pro landscaping you know dealers, you know outdoor power equipment places. They don't sell them at Home Depot and Lowe's. But for the same price as some of this crap that they sell at you know Home Depot. Or, or lows you know you can get something like this but and the reason i like it is it's super light it's one of the, the lightest um lightest blowers on the market man um but the one thing with it and i got the first year it came out and the people who have it know it's a bitch to start sometimes for some reason um but yeah this is like 420 i think 415 cfm all right so obviously the milwaukee's 450 there are the ego blowers are 550, 575. The big killer though, this blows at 175 miles per hour, where your, you know, lithium ion blowers, you know, 110, 125. Well, the Milwaukee's 125. You know, the egos, some of them get up to 145. You know, the ego blowers are more powerful than some electric blowers. Uh, definitely more than this one. And probably my my other steel. I have the uh, 56 also. Uh, that's somewhere. But yeah, so, and I got to hang this one up, but I don't know what I'm doing with it. I would really love to sell it. Like I said, if you follow me, I spent 500 bucks on this. Uh, we don't do a lot of hedge trimming really here, usually beginning of the season, but 500 bucks for that. I got the, the Milwaukee that, again, you use it now and then, starting it, and, you know, oil gas combustion engine and carburetors i just slap a battery in and you're good to go um my ryobi my pole saw there i don't need that i got the milwaukee now but yeah so really that's it i'm thinking about actually you know you heard me talk about the milwaukee what i want to do is i'm gonna probably get the new bosch um freak 2 only because it already has that nice little thing on it here, the the the, the half inch, you know, anvil ready to go, uh, and eighteen hundred inch pounds are good enough. So, yep. Oh yeah. Oh, thank you, buddy. Thank you, ninety four. Seeing, you know, it's getting crazy. I mean, out of zero turn mowers. You know, it's just a matter of time. You know, like Ryobi came out with one, right? They're, you know, a Home Depot big box brand. You know, but there's like this company called Mean Green that has like this $20,000 zero turn. But you're going to see some big, long, you know, Gravely is a big, you know, um, you know, Xmark, Hustler, Skag, one of these companies. Now, Hustler around six or seven years ago actually came out with one. It didn't sell well. And it was kind of expensive. Um, they had one. And it was made for the commercial, but it was a lot of money. It made it like two years. But someone's going to come out with one eventually. Um, you know, one of the professional lawn care company brands is probably going to come out with one at some point. Where it's really made for commercial type work. You know, like I said, Mean Green, whatever company. You know, we saw them at the um, GIE a couple years there. Yeah, they're not bad. Like I said, I could probably get, you know, buy one more box and, and kind of be set. You know, like I said, my, my favorite box is the one with the drawer. Like I said, I can put all my business cards, my billing uh, slips, and, you know, my doorknob thingy things there. But, um, yeah, you can't do it, you know. But it's something that if I'm going to do, I just want to have it into the you know bolt it down i don't have to you know with this i'm gonna have to build shelves where i'm gonna have to kind of keep it it's just so much easier with the racking system squidly scott what's up yeah you know it's early in the season we're not doing too much to, you know one day i'll kind of well i will definitely show you and i'll probably just show i'm gonna probably put it on my other channel where i go through building you know the trailer up a little bit and then you'll see all the crap 
that you you know I still have over there. Well, I don't even want to show you. I'm embarrassed. I mean, it's pretty much up to the ceiling with stuff. You know, I got so much crap uh, getting mailed to me and stuff that the stuff's in the freaking living room. The the wife is pissed off every day. Get this stuff out of here. I got to review a lot of stuff yet. But, um, yeah, so, again, great little system. I mean, if you can get the Craftsman cheaper, it's really the same stuff. Uh, the only thing with the Craftsman is you got that water seal. Um, I don't know. For some reason, I don't know. I kind of played with the ones at Lowe's, but they're 100% identical. But for some reason, I don't know. The DeWalt's just, I don't know, maybe it's the color. I don't know. But it seems like it's just a little bit better quality. But obviously it's, you know, baloney. Uh, Supreme Services, Lawn Care. John Paul. That's the, my channel I started with. That's been a, that's a, that's an old channel there. But yeah, so that's it. But yeah, you know, the 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 plumbers and the um electricians and the the carpenters, you can add to this and you know, a lot of them carry a lot of them have trailers, but a lot of them have vans. Uh you know, for the guys that have vans. Now I think they just stopped making them I heard. Obviously, what I'm putting in my trailer is the, you know, it's not even made for trailers. It's made for, like, garages, but it'll work fine, especially the way I rig it up. But um, they have a van racking system for their tough system. But I don't know. Someone told me that they kind of discontinued that. I'm not sure. But, and there's a lot of stuff with the Milwaukee, too, now. Now, we saw it at the MPS last year, but... They said it wasn't going to be out. It should be out this year. But for the people that have vans, the stuff that Milwaukee's coming out with for their pack out is going to, it's, they had it last year, but they, you know, I can't remember if they even wanted us taking pictures. Now, I think they didn't mind if we, you know, filmed it, but they said it, they don't know when it's going to be done, but it's a really cool system. The way that, uh, you know, it's going to hook up to your, the vans, the work vans. But, um, yeah, that's it, man. Um, I was going to do the DeWalt battery video, but I can't find that 12-amp-hour battery, that Milwaukee. I know a lot of people have been asking. But I want to have both batteries so you can kind of, you know, we'll weigh them and stuff. You know, stuff like we always do. Nothing too important. But, yeah, you know, that, you know the, the power station is great. Don't get me wrong. But, again, to be able to have that Ryobi, they call it again power invert uh no the inverter generator you know it's a little 300 watt they call it a inverter generator well we'll call it that that's just you know for kicks but that is going to be the cat's meow um you know you saw you heard me talk about the ego one the ego one uh, you know again if uh, i want to charge milwaukee batteries i can't use it it's 150 watts but it's not the correct voltage for it so they're, they're garbage for what I need it for. I mean, I don't know, but I guess you can use it if you're camping, you know, you can charge your tablets and your computer. I think you could run a TV off it too. You know, it's 150 Watts, which ain't bad, but they could have made that a lot better, especially with those big batteries. Now, again, guys, Milwaukee's coming out with one too. That's what I'm really hoping for. Now, I'm hopefully we will see it at this year's MPS 19. But for all the people, I've been, oh, man, you know, DeWalt is killing them. What is going on? Milwaukee, we need a power station. They're going to have one. I'm going to give you a little sneak peek. Now, I don't know too much about it, but I know a little bit about it. It basically looks like their large pack out. Okay? It looks like their pack out box. All right? It's got a handle got a handle so if you got a you know almost like a little inverter generator now i don't know anything about the wattage now if it's this big all right i don't know how many batteries now if it's this big i'm hoping it can take eight see what what i want is kind of like the new ego the new what's it called the nexus where it, 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 it it'll run with one battery it'll run with one battery you know you might get only get 10 minutes I want eight. I want eight. All right. 
You can run that sucker with eight in the runtime. You'll be, oh, yeah. You know, make it a three, you know, what? You know, the Nexus is, three, well, it's 2,000. I would not be surprised if it's a 2,000 watt power station, this Milwaukee that's coming out. Again, from what I've seen, it kind of looks like they're big, large pack out box. It looks like they're rolling pack out box with the handle. It's got wheels. Um, I, I don't want to put my hand on the Bible. It's not gospel what you're hearing here, but I did get a couple pictures sent to me. Um, I don't know anything more than that. From what I saw, that's what it looks like. It looks like you know, the large pack out rolling box uh, with the handle. It's got wheels. And I saw a little bit of the inside. I didn't show you much. But again, obviously you open the lid up. And I don't know how many batteries it takes. I don't know how many watts it is. But we're eight weeks away. Maybe even less, like seven weeks. Where again, they promised. They told me point... They told me to my face. Well, actually, they didn't. It was in an email. But then I ran into Sebastian, my man Sebastian. He's a head big big shot now in New York City. And he told me the same thing. He goes, you're going to be blown away. I'm like, tell me. Tell me. He goes, I'll be honest with you. I know a little bit, but I don't know him that much. They don't tell me anything either. So he doesn't even know. But he knows a couple things. I don't even I don't want to know. But, um, yeah, so the system works. You know, again, for the people that are in lawn care too, you know, you got you got room for your wrenches and stuff. You know, I got a lot of other stuff too. This is kind of just stuff that you know. I obviously I'm gonna need, I like to keep an angle grinder in there too. Uh, I want enough room for that. So again, if we're slow, I can have one. You know, starts raining. You know, all right, take the blades off this sucker and, and sharpen them up. I like to set up a nice little. You know, folding, and I might do it. I, you know, I have a lot of things, but, you know, it's a 6 by 10 It's a Vino, so it's really a 6 by 12 But, you know, I was going to get a 6 by 12 But, again, you guys know the story. I I don't have enough room where I, where I park. That extra two feet would just kill me. And, you know, like I said, a 6 by 12 is cheaper than a 6 by 10 If that makes any sense to you, please let me know, because it doesn't to me. But, anyway... Um, I wanted to have like a folding down work table and I still might do it. It's a, obviously you just put a couple hinges up, and a, you know, piece of wood and I would make it work and kind of have like a little portable or a makeshift uh, workbench where I can kind of have him, you know, sharpen blades or something instead of bringing them back here or at least teaching them, you know, but he's a great worker though. He really is. I, I bust his chops. He's good. But, yeah, so that's it, man. That's really it. And it's Friday night, so I had some time tonight. Swamp Fox Picks. Heard the name of it. Oh, thank you, Liardi. Where can I buy that battery that you carry that charger on your cell phone? Oh. You mean my Milwaukee? Or the... I usually use my Milwaukee or my Bosch. I think you're talking about the little... The USB. You could buy that at Home Depot, bud. Yeah, Home Depot has it. Uh, they make a couple different versions of it. Now, I don't know if you can even get the old version anymore. It's like, 50, I don't know, $39.99. But you get a couple USB cords. And the USB cords, for the guys that have that 12-volt, uh, you know, uh, charger, you know how awesome that USB card. There's no cord like that cord i don't know what's in it why it charges i i take it out and i i use that cord with everything the the, the milwaukee cords are awesome that come with it um but yeah yeah it's cheap leonard 58 i'll just call you 58 how about that brother robert waters i had a folding workbench once and i did not yeah yeah, I was thinking that too, Robert. But and I was also thinking I, I'm not really going to use it much. You know, I'll, he doesn't really need. It. I was going to do. I was going to do a lot of stuff. Um, you heard me talk about. Oh yeah, I'm going to do all this. And I, you know, you heard me. I was going to put solar panels on the roof. You know, but now with all this, you know, battery powered, you know, inverter generators and power stations. 
but you know when you kind of get down to it it's like ah. and plus i really i'm not even sold i miss my uh open trailer so much so i don't know i might sell it at the end of this year we'll have to see but um yeah so you know we'll see what happens thank you buddy that's awesome yeah, that's it the uh m12 power source yeah it charges it's the best ch it char it charges and i use the rigid a lot too um because it's the only way i use their batteries a lot so i'm like i might as i use the that power their their you know um power source and let me tell you the rigid obviously is an 18 volt and the milwaukee is a 12 volt the Milwaukee will charge minimum 33% faster than the Rigid. Minimum. Now, obviously, I have a 9-amp-hour battery hooked up to it. But if you use a 5, which I do, which I did before I started using a 9, it's basically a stationary charger I just use. But I'm telling you, the 6-amp-hour the Milwaukee 12-volt, I'm telling you, the runtime is really just about the same than the rigid 18 volt with a five. Um, they just Milwaukee, the, oh, it's it's great, and I really like the Bosch one too. The Bosch one for the, Bosch makes the best 18 volt, in my opinion. Um, the Makita is pretty good too, and I know a lot of you guys are waiting for the your Ryobi, you Ryobi guys are waiting for your, you know, power source to come out. And hopefully it will pretty soon. I know, I believe it's out in Australia already, or Japan, or Europe. But hopefully it'll be out here. But yeah, um, the Bosch 18 volt is my favorite, super compact. And my other favorite, the one besides that, which I liked, I love the Makita 12 volt. The Makita 12 volt is great. Um, you know, their biggest battery is a four amp hour, so. Eh. You know, the Milwaukee I use. And I have a lot of the Milwaukee 12-volt batteries. So, but yeah, that's about it, folks. Um, yeah, and this is the guy. You guys need any type of lawn care stuff, he'll ship it to you. This guy is awesome. Tell him uh, Supreme or Tool Boss sent you. I get a lot of people. Uh, he tells me. He he touches base with me like once a month. We'll, we'll chit-chat. Like, yeah, someone saw your video and uh, they, they mentioned you. So, so yeah, that's about it, folks. Uh, I was going to, like I said, I had a lot of time tonight. Um, tomorrow, you won't see really mu anything. And again, pay, um, I'll explain it to the Patreon people, too. Now, for the new people who might be watching this, who signed up as Patreons, we call it, uh, you know, April Dance Party. All right, March dance party. That's the giveaway. We can't mention giveaway on Patreon. I've been hit with so many complaints and violations of their guidelines. Um, I just got one two days ago, again, for adult content. I'm like, uh, sir, it's a tool channel. We don't have adult content. But so the giveaways are called dance parties. I know it's kind of weird. But for the people that are, I know 94 is on here, and 94 is number four, and I told, like Shaka is the bomb. You got, you know, Shaka has been with me for years, man. One of my first subscribers. They have him down as um, a non member now. All right. And he's like number one. And then I got Gabe, who's like number 12, uh, another good guy who, you know, it just doesn't seem right. And I just talked to Gabe the other day on YouTube. Um, I'm sure he would have mentioned it, but they got him down as a non-member. So I don't know if they're still Patreons or not, but I don't, you know, if they were qu quitting or didn't want to do it, I don't want their number to come out. And then, oh, I won. Oh, yeah, I just didn't pay. You know, I didn't put my money in, you know, or something like that. So we want to keep it as fair. It, it, the guys, you know, 94 is on. We have an issue every month with these freaking giveaways, but we always get them done. And everybody, everybody's almost won something at this point, it seems like. But Jeff's comp, what's up, brother? 
Swamp Fox. Yeah, Swamp Fox is uh he's he's into lawn care. You have your own company, right, Swamp Fox? Seeing more and more options now. What? What did you go in through the roof vent? Yep. Hunter Green, they're really longevity. Those two bags built to last or built to break. I mean, they're not built like the tough system. The biggest issue or the biggest difference between these and the tough system boxes. Now, you guys know this is the worst part of these boxes. I, th this plastic clip ons. Do they work? I mean, I my, some of my tough system ones have, you know, you can pull it. It's, it's just not very nice. This is the worst part with the T stack and the DeWalt um, tough system. I don't like the the way it clamps. The Bosch really has a great way, but the boxes are just so expensive. Um, hopefully, I'll you know I don't know what Makita's doing with theirs. Obviously, I really like the way Milwaukee. More that's the big, you know, durability wise. You're not going to have any differences between the Tough System and the Milwaukee. The big premium you're paying. Now the boxes are a little bit bigger with the Milwaukee, but I mean, an inch. But the whole locking system is really, you got to ask yourself, is it worth the premium? Um, now, like when it's $199, I would say get the Milwaukee, right? This is $139. Now, pretend this is a tough system. $139 for the DeWalt, $199 for the Milwaukee, get the Milwaukee. But at $279 and this at $139, get the tough system. But yeah, the biggest problems and i didn't have any issues with the tough system but it's, it's fine with the tough system but someone asked about this with this box the hinges on this i could see you know it it's not that bad but you know i can definitely see you having issues over time with this but if you're not beating it up that much you know you should be okay with it um you know they make case and inserts with these boxes um, I know a couple people use the small box. Uh, took the, this small box here, they use, uh, you know, they have like their drill, their impact, and, you know, a couple bits and so, a couple sockets, whatever you want to do. You know, you can put whatever you want in there. You just got to cut it out with the, with the foam. Oh, thank you very much. Who is that? Is that Shaka? Shaka's usually. Oh, Samuel, thank you. And thanks uh samuel williams for that receipt and i must have got after that video at home depot today i must have got 10 to 15 pictures of the their home depot selling the 12 volt rocket light with the six amp hour battery so they're all over the country but like i said in the beginning you your store i know 94 gt coupes don't have it he might have to wait to May 4th. I have no idea why certain stores are selling it and certain stores aren't. But, you know, some stores are. Um, but, yeah, he, um, in case you didn't see that post. So, whoever's interested in buying that rocket light, all right? I know, like I said, 94 GT just bought it. It's about $149. And thank God he returned it because... If he doesn't want that six amp hour battery that comes free, you can return it and they're going to give you $60. I think it's $59 and 79 cents. So basically you're going to get the M12 rocket light for $90. All right. So you're saving 60 bucks. Um, and you patrons, you're going to have a, um, don't maybe not buy that for may because we might have something going on we're gonna have to see and you guys know about april's dance party right hopefully but yeah so i'm gonna check patreon out after this and hopefully shaka and gabe if not we'll just if he doesn't do it by sunday we're gonna do it sunday and uh we'll have to work it out um after that but sunday will be the day and um then we'll gonna get ready for april's which i'm very excited for but that's it guys i did a little bit longer tonight logan p yeah man never enough and that's where 
You know, you kind of heard me say today, guys, and I'm not going to say I recommend it, but I do understand. Now, I'm going to be honest with you. The prices of these knockoff batteries have really gone up. I, I looked the other day, but, you know, let's just say this Milwaukee, I don't know how many, maybe it takes six batteries, but, you know, you kind of heard me with the outdoor power equipment. Um, you know, say you have that DeWalt lawnmower that takes two 20 volt batteries, you know, there might, you know, instead of like beating the crap, because let me tell you, using it in a lawnmower, I mean, you got it out in 90 degree heat, you know, like grass and dirt getting in there or, you know, you're using it as a lawnmower. I don't know. It just seems like, you know, maybe you don't want to use your best batteries that you use with your drill. And this is for the DIY people, but, you know, because you're the only ones that are going to own that lawnmower. But, you know, say you're using it for, you know, your impacts, your your drills or your saws or maybe your power station. Um, but again, you know, you got the lawnmower, you like it. And that's where I could see, you know, maybe you want to get nine amp hour batteries for your lawnmower, right? You know, you want bigger batteries and instead of spending, you know, $350, because, you know, the DeWalt nine amp hour battery guys is like 200 bucks and they really don't offer it in many kits. That's why you saw me today going nuts over that FlexVolt trimmer because it's 249 bucks. And you get a nine amp hour battery and a rapid charger. So basically you're getting, you know, the trimmer for free. But anyway, I don't know why I'm even bringing this up, but I, we kind of talked about it a little bit. That's where I can kind of see maybe, you know, getting one of these, but that's really the only way I would get one of them. Cause like I said, they're not, it ain't like they're that much cheaper, man. I mean, they're a little bit, um, you know, they kind of got to get them when they have deals. Some, you know, I'll get an email every once in a while with, oh, uh, here, the Vanyan. I think Vanyan's a company that makes knockoffs, but I think they had like a nine amp hour knockoff for like 99 bucks. But, you know, 99 bucks compared to 179. I don't know, man. I would probably maybe still go DeWalt. I don't know. Maybe. I and mean, if you need one, if you need two, then there's obviously big savings there. But, you know, Sometimes the nine goes down to like 79 bucks. Then I can see you maybe getting it, you know, where it's a nine amp hour, 79, where, you know, the DeWalt nine amp hours, 199 or 179, maybe on sale or whatever. But all right. So that's about it, folks. Thank you. String bean. My fridge died and I got to get Robert Walt. Robert, I'm doing it. Give me like two weeks, Robert. And I'm going to be hooking you up. I haven't forgotten about you, Robert. Logan P. Could you buy it and return the rocket? Yeah, you can. You can return the rocket light. If you saw that post, Robert, uh, Robert is asking vice versa. So you buy the rocket light for 149 and you get the six amp hour battery. So you actually can, Robert. They're going to give you $89.99 back for the rocket light. So a six amp hour battery will cost you 60 bucks. Uh, I wouldn't do it. And I'm going to be honest with you. I probably, you know, well, I don't know. You know, they say the six amp hour battery is $99. Obviously, we did we saw, we saw did that Christmas deal where you got the compact three and the six for, what, $79? So I would probably return it, man, and get 60 bucks, bring it down to 90 bucks. Now, if you don't have a six, obviously keep it. But if you have, like, one or two sixes already you know i'm in central by new brunswick okay j and e lawn all right buddy yeah chris conkle what's up buddy what store do i have to go to what are you looking for um l, l what l and e are you looking for the rocket light i believe it's um Roxbury over there. Roxbury or Mount Olive Home Depot. They had a whole bunch of them. Uh, Colonia, New Jersey has them. And I believe Union, New Jersey has them. Yeah, you don't want to come up here. Union, New Jersey. 
or Colonia. Colonia, 100%. Two sixes are 133 right now online. Oh, good. Perzak. Perzak, watch around 10 minutes ago. I went over the whole Patreon thing. Perzak's a Patreon, too. You know, I was telling him Perzak. And I think Perzak won last month or two months ago. He won. But we never have a smooth drawing, it seems like. We kind of thought we figured it all out. You know, now we just have a number system. We're good to go. And now I don't know what the hell's going on. Yeah, you're down, J&E, if you're down by New Brunswick, you don't, I'm right, it's really far from, from New Brunswick. Look at Colonia, New Jersey. Colonia, New Jersey. Now, the only reason I know that is because my buddy, who sends me a lot of these pictures on Instagram, he's there every day. He's a good dude. He's the one that he pretty much scouts Home Depots, and he buys stuff on sale. Ultra like every day he's buying like stuff on clearance and he sells them on Facebook, a Facebook site or something. So he's the one that gives me so many of these pictures. Well, I would say around 40 now, not that much, probably 25%. I get a lot from all over the country too. But yeah, so that's it. Yeah, check out Colonia. But all right, I think I caught up. South Central Edmonton, oh man. They probably have the rocket light with the six amp hour battery for $350. That's all I hear about. If you guys follow me on Instagram, I know a lot of you probably don't read the comments, but it's all Canadian people. And I'll tell you, for such a small country, now obviously it's big in size, but it's got the population of California. It's like 20 million people, 25 million people. But, man, there's a lot of Canadians in the tool community. But that's all I get under my, when you are so lucky, you guys, that would, you know, would be double the price here in Canada. I mean, you got to see what these people pay in Canada. I'm telling you, it's almost like it's worse in Canada than it is in Europe. Now, I don't know about that 100%, but... um it's crazy what they pay up there, man. But you got to pay for free medical up in Canada. You want to be, you know, a democracy, you know. We let Canada have California. So that, yeah, uh, Robert Waters. Don't be surprised in our lifetime. There's actually, I don't know if you guys know what's going on in California. Mm -hmm. uh, is 94 GT yeah. Coop still here? I don't know how far it's been or if it's getting ready to be voted on but they're actually thinking of breaking up california into three different states there's going to be north california i guess central california and south california i don't know if it made it to the ballot yet but the people in northern california are pissed at the people in la because it's gone so you know socialist maybe to a degree I'm not saying that it's my opinion but that's the rumor um and i guess southern is pissed at the northern i don't know it's crazy but let me tell you you heard about texas texas has thought about it several times of breaking away from the united states i don't think that they ever will now we know about quebec that almost worked they missed that by Man, it was a couple hundred votes. That was probably around 10, 15 years ago now. If you guys, all you young people who are watching, but they had a, a vote, again, 10 or 15 years ago. It lost by a Swedish hair. Quebec would have been its own country. It almost did it. But I think you're going to see possibly California maybe break off one day. I don't know. If any state is going to do it, it could be California. I was in Matamoros, PA. Couldn't stop. Shop with him. Chasing through. Oh, I hear you, buddy. Did you hear about that, go? About that, though, 94 GT? Oh, it's so freaking cold up there, Chris. It's freaking nuts. 
I don't know how you guys do it, man. Like here in Jersey, man. Now this winter was amazing. Probably one of the warmest winters in the past 10 years. And the last two besides this one were brutal. And I, I was always, you know, it's really bad here, man. Like every morning minus four. We had like a, a 15 day stretch last last winter where it didn't go above 10 and it, it was all over the news how bad it is and people were dying these elderly people and I'm like imagine what it's like up in canada oh you did hear about it. all right yeah i don't want people to think yeah so that who knows we'll have to see but out there man it's it is it's like a different um new jersey's like that though too man there's no other place in this country like this state for the people that have never been here. It is just packed with people. All right, let me get out of here. Rotary Dan, my man from Florida. He's in Florida. He's got it made. All right, guys, thank you so much. Sam, thanks for the donation, man. I appreciate it. So I'll see you guys. Uh, I might do, if there's a, like an awesome sale in the morning, if someone sends me something, I might, but I'll see you guys on Sunday at some point. Thank you. Yeah, I've been getting a lot of qu uh, comments, too, about me doing more, like, these type of videos again. I kind of stopped for a while, um, only because it's, like, five degrees in this place is one of the main reasons. So we'll, we'll try to do some more from, from here. But on Monday, we're going to have a special. I'll talk about it on Sunday, but we're going to do, uh, you're going to have to go to my other channel, though, for the people that want to see it. We got a huge cleanup, like a you know, thousand dollar cleanup that we got to do. And, um, a lot of different stuff's getting done. And I figured we, we test some stuff out. Oh yeah. And we got the Ryobi 40 volt. They're brand new. It was 179 when it first came out, uh, like came out like a month ago. It came out a month ago. The new, uh, I guess we'll call it the gen two 40 volt blower. It's got 500 CFM, 110 miles per hour. But it took away from that old heavy one. Now, this one's lighter. All right? Not a lot. It's definitely lighter. It's definitely better. But we got it for 102. So it went from 179 to 159. And I saw it today in the store. I couldn't believe it. 129. And it has a 4 amp hour battery. The battery alone is $139. So you're getting the charger and the battery, obviously, and the blower the blower is basically for free but again the only reason i got that was obviously because i got to do a video now i maybe would have bought the blower for 99 bucks but i gotta get that 300 watt power station or inverter generator we'll call it from ryobi when it comes out now again ryobi has a 1500 watt inverter generator coming out 40 volt and a 300 watt I want the 300 watts, only 99 bucks. Oh, if I can use that, that would be the cat's meow. But we'll have to see. All right, let me get out of here. Thank you. String Bean, Nightbird, Chris Conkle, Jeff's Comp, Logan P. Rotary Dan, 94, of course, Leonardi, 58, Black Sheep. I missed you, Black Sheep. What's up, buddy? Logan P., Robert Waters, Perzak, Ellie, any lawn... Jonathan Turner, String Bean, of course, the one and only. Grant's dad, what's up? Lenny, 2019. Swamp Fox picks, Samuel Williams, Swamp Fox. Elite Interior Solutions. Oh, you got the radio. Just picked up the T-Stack. You should do it. See, I wish someone, I don't know if there's a video on that. I would love to see that. It's a big system, guys. It really is. It really is a big system. If you don't want to spend a lot of money and you don't really want, you know, what makes this great is it's so small. It's compact. If you don't need those big boxes, um, it's it's something to to think about. I wish they would come out now. All right, they got the T-Stack out. Now come out with a real commercial tough system, but just, you know, I wouldn't call it tough system. I don't know, maybe call it t maybe just make these like really commercial grade and then have the craftsman be like you know the cheap big box you know just make you know the hinges a little bit better maybe you can make these clamp you know obviously the they got to do something with this 
But all right, guys, let me get out of here. Jeff's comp, everybody. I hope I got everybody. If not, I'll catch you. Daniel Rodriguez, G Stone, Solutions, Electros, Moss, Brad's Workbench, Hunter, 